Thank you for joining me. I am going to uh, show you some tips on how to draw cats, big cats, little cats, any kind of cat. I'm going to use um, book, this book to show you. And uh, as you can see, there everything has circles. Every living creature, cats, dogs, everything. And I'm not saying to draw in your book. Your mom will get mad at me, but I am just showing you right here on where you can um, start. And so the head is one giant circle. You just sketch that out. Sketch everything lightly. Do everything lightly before you outline it. That is going to be the best um, learning experience. And you see I drew three big circles. This one's going to be for the head. I do a cross section to show where the center is going to be. The um, Then the line showing where the spinal um, line is. And the neck. And you can see I'm going to draw a smaller circle here. To where I want the the leg to be and just you can draw lines to connect those if it will help and now to sketch everything out and remember every again do this lightly do not add any darker lines until you are ready to outline it and uh, just go from there do you guys have a, a favorite cat favorite animal I love the tiger tigers are my favorite they're just so beautiful and you can actually use these lessons on any other animal in particular um, if you want to draw a dog you can dogs are just like cats they all have circles and let me just adjust my camera um, so yeah leave a comment below what your what your favorite um, big cat is or little cat do you have any pet cats? Okay, so right here, see you see me doing here is I'm not drawing the circle for the the other arm. At, um, if you caught before the picture I'm using, is of a giant uh, tiger hunting, and so when they when they hunt, there aren't you know in the running, like any cat, their arms are going to be tucked up in there. And tigers have thick necks covered in fur so you want to make sure that you uh, draw that outline of the neck as well again light light strokes so you can get um, how the pose that you want don't focus on the final project everything will come together don't you want to focus on the here and there if you focus too much on what you want it to, the final picture to look like, you're bound to uh, make mistakes look, trying to get to there. I'm drawing a the shape of the, the jawline and the, the head, where the circle, where I want the ears to be. And then uh, I'm going to draw the outline of the nose. Again, soft, light strokes. Uh, try girls shaped eyes and the majestic <laughs> um silly the the strong mouth so uh, as you can see there's um, the um basic outline of the large cat um you can see the wide shoulders the strong um arms i'm going to draw the uh the paw and the paws are you know they're have you ever seen one at the zoo tigers lines they all have such huge huge paws and uh you want to make sure that uh you keep them if you're drawing this to be look realistic i'm not the best at this so but again this is just trying to get you some tips And uh, you see there, I drew the underline of where the rib cage is and the belly. And I'm going to show you uh, some other things because I'm not finishing the drawing. I'm just again, this is just tips. I'm just showing you that you know everything. Everything is shapes. Um, the head of this line is, you know, she has a circle for the head, and uh, I'm going to show you right here. You draw the uh, the outline of the circle, 
do the cross line. Always the cross line helps. You don't have to do it. I do it, but it helps with uh, finding where you want the nose and the eyes to do to go. And of course the uh, circle of the, the muzzle and the triangle of the nose. Let me readjust this again. And, uh, Once you uh, get the basic shape of everything, you will be able to uh, find them anywhere in whatever animal you're trying to uh, draw, whether it's a cat, a dog, a panda, or a bird. And of course, lion lionesses, like other big cats, they have these thick, broad shoulders. Um, so you want to make sure that you, you do capture their uh, muscles, when it, even in the neck area. But again, a circle for the, the body and my really silly looking eye. And then now I'm going to show you a close up of the paws. As you can see, the paw again, it's you want to draw the circle of where the, um, the joint is and the toes of the the cat all ca all cats even the domestic cats they all have these strong muscles to help them jump and climb and they're just let me readjust this camera so i can show you better okay I took off the camera <laughs> As you can see, the the circle of the the wrist of the cat, and then you just add the details. And once you're ready to uh, color or, or shade or darken it, you can uh, make the outlines a little bit darker, and then you can erase the uh, the cross sections in the the sketch part. But uh, yeah, there's some basic um, ideas. My suggestions when you're learning how to draw is to get you several books to uh, get ideas from, um, especially if you are having a hard time getting down the um, the shape of everything. The, this book right here is perfect for if you are drawing cats, you can get one for dogs, but thank you.